Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and I want to welcome you back to my channel again today for an extended conversation about OneNote and more specifically OneNote yellow pads. And so yesterday I talked to you and let me just get over there. And so yesterday I talked to you about this. I happened to pass by a post like this online on Instagram and it got me to thinking about what could happen if this could ever happen to someone. Now it wouldn't happen to me <laughs> because every note, any and every note that I ever, ever, ever take goes into OneNote. And it is because of the method two that I want to talk about today. Now, yesterday I talked to you about how to take your yellow pads like this. If you want to write on paper yellow pads, I showed you yesterday method one, which is what I call the old school method. And it allows you to take your opening statement like this and transfer it to OneNote. So now you have your paper opening statement or whatever it is that you're working on is going to be available in the cloud now and you can access it wherever you are. You or your team can access that note anywhere. Anyone who has access and who is sharing your notebook will be able to work on this project with you. And so before I go any further, I just wanted to let you know that I have done full videos step by step on how to create your own OneNote yellow pad. But if you would like to purchase a pre-made OneNote yellow pad template, Professor Blackmore's pre-made OneNote uh, yellow pad template, you can please visit me on my website and I'll show you exactly where you can uh, go for that. Let's see here. So for my pre-made OneNote yellow pad, you can head over to my website and then you can go to the shop tab and then if you go down to the productivity tab you will be able to find my OneNote yellow pad or if you're interested in purchasing Professor Blackmore's pre-made OneNote civil or criminal law firm notebook which is where I keep my OneNote yellow pads you can visit me also on my website here uh, all you have to do is go to the shop tab and then come down to productivity. But on yesterday, I showed you how to make your own yellow pad. And this is how we were able to create this notebook here called my YouTube Live Yellow Pad. And so if you would like to go and review the live stream from yesterday, uh, you can find that here on my YouTube page. Or if you're interested in watching those two videos that I have done on this procedure, step one and step two, you can also go and find that video, the old school method and the new school method right here on youtube you'll be able to find that uh and i will if i can place links to both of these in uh the description section of this video and then also as i stated on yesterday as a bonus tip i wanted to let you know one more thing about OneNote, and that is if you have a link like this let me see if i can just copy it here if you take this link, I'm gonna make a new page here. And if you just paste this link into your OneNote notes, it could be that you're doing legal research on something. Uh, you can paste this link and uh, now, well, all right. 
let me go and get a real link to paste. Uh, let's see here. So this will be from yesterday's live. And so all I have to do is I'm going to get rid of this. If I paste this link here, then OneNote gives you the ability to be able to just come to your notes and you can watch this video straight from your notes. You do not have to go out and navigate out to uh to YouTube to watch this video, you can watch it right here in your notes, okay? So that's just another bonus tip. Now, and so if you wanna go back and find out how to make this yellow notepad that we made on yesterday, you can go and review the live video that is already posted out there. But today, I'm gonna show you the new school approach and yesterday uh, I showed you how you could uh, make a clipping or to snap a uh, picture or a image of your yellow pad so that you could upload it to your OneNote yellow pad. And here I showed you how you could create a new section. So here, I would create a new section where I would keep my paper yellow pads. And so I could call this paper yellow pads. And I created that by just clicking this button right down here at the bottom plus section, which means new section. And so then I can make a new section here. And then I want to change the color of this section because this is my yellow pad. And so I can take my yellow pad that I have here and just make a copy. I can copy this page, the whole page, and just paste it here. Then I can delete this page. And then this is the place where I could keep all of my paper yellow pads. And I could call this April 8th opening statement. I'm going to call this April 7th opening statement. And another reason that you want to do this is because OneNote is fully searchable. So anytime you place a note in OneNote, you can search, you can click this search and search all of your notebooks that you have uploaded to OneNote. And you will be able to find this uh, note very quickly. But today I wanna show you, and I made this using my Samsung Z Fold. I was working with my Samsung Z Fold yesterday and I just took a picture of this uh, using my paper yellow pad that I have right here. OK, and that is how I was able to upload a copy of my paper yellow pad to the cloud. But today I'm going to use the new school method and I'm going to be using my Samsung Note 7 today uh, for this particular demonstration. And so as I did on yesterday, I want to remind you that for both of these mobile devices, my Samsung Z Fold that I was using yesterday, and then now my Samsung Note 7, you wanna make sure that you have two apps downloaded. Now, for yesterday, I'm gonna go here and show you the Microsoft apps. Well, go here and then as I stated on yesterday I just go to the Google Play Store for my Android device here and now these are all of my apps that I have that here is my OneNote here and yesterday I talked to you about the Microsoft Office Lens let me see if I can search it and find it And this is the Microsoft Lens, which is what I use to scan 
the paper version of my opening statement on yesterday. All right, so today now, I'm just going to be using my OneNote app here. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by tapping that OneNote app. And later on, I am going to upload the recording of this with my video so that you could uh, follow along. And so now I'm going to have to find my notebook that I am working in here. And so I'm working in my YouTube Live Yellow Pad. So I want to click More Notebooks. And then all of my notebooks will be in alphabetical order. And so I go all the way down to YouTube Live Yellow Pad. Now, what I want to do, though, is whenever I create a new note, it's just like you're using a paper yellow pad. You're going to go to a clean page. And so I'm going to go to a clean section. And in this section, I can have as many pages as I want. But this section is going to be called, I want to rename this section now. I'm, it's, I made this uh, yellow pad for this purpose so that I can now go here and rename this section. I'm going to call it hey, opening statement. All right. So now I have a new section here and I am going to Maybe all right. And so I'm going to give it a name of Smith v. Carruthers opening statement. Uh, these are just giving me all different kinds of ways that I will be able to search this if I wanted to do that uh, in the future. And so you'll be able to see that that has already synced over to my Samsung uh, Note 7 device here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and now one more thing about this one note. You can make these pages in all different kinds of ways. And so here is my template. This is my template that I usually work from. Uh, and you make these pages by changing the page color in the background to the color that you want and by adding uh, ruled lines on the page if you would like to have that. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this page from here. And then I'm going to rename that page. Copy. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete this page because I don't want this page now. I'm going to rename this page. Paste. And then now I can just take this page and move it up if I want right there in that spot. All right. So now I'm going to go over. to my YouTube Live. And this is already synced over. And so now I want to go ahead and I want to start to write my opening statement right into my uh, OneNote yellow pad rather than taking the OneNote, the paper OneNote uh, yellow pad that I had yesterday and scanning a copy and then uploading it here. This is going to be method two where I actually write my opening statement right into uh, my 
OneNote yellow pad. And so I'm going to go ahead and just start writing a little bit of that. I'm just going to write just a little bit of it. All right. And so as you can see, as I am writing this uh, opening statement, anybody who is back in my office who has a copy or who has access to this notebook can also see everything I'm doing in real time as it syncs over. So you can see that this is already synced over the first sentence. I'm just going to write the second sentence. Okay, well, let me just finish that one last. All right, and so as you can see, that sinks right over immediately. And so that is how we uh, use that OneNote yellow pad. And the second method is just as easy as that. And so if you would like to go back and see how step by step how to make a OneNote yellow pad of your own, uh, you can go back and view the live video that I have posted from yesterday. And one more thing that I want to see if I'll be able to do it here. It'll do it. OK, so let me see here. But one more thing that you can learn about OneNote is when you write uh, in OneNote, it can, if you have good enough handwriting, it can take your text. And so if I click this ink to text button here, it should take your text, your ink or your handwriting, and it can turn it into text. And so you can see there, may it please the court, what brings us here today to this OneNote court. And it'll take that and it will turn it into text. Now, I want to show you that uh, OneNote yellow pad we had now. Presumably, one more thing also. Let me click view and snap that way. Uh, one more thing is that you could presumably also right click on this and copy text from a picture. So now let's see about that. Let's see how that works out. Okay, I'm going to make another page here. And let's see what happens when I click paste on that. Now, now you'll have to go back and probably do a lot of editing on this. But for the most part, it, it kind of took some of that and took the text from that picture. So there are some very powerful uh, resources that you'll find when you use OneNote. I mean, it is a very, very powerful resource. And if I want to go back and search my notes, if I want to search anything, let's say I'll go out. I'm not going to search it here. I'll go out even to this notebook. And if I want to search anything that has anything to do with yellow pad, or if I just want to say opening statement. Any notebook, any of those notebooks that I made today, any of those uh, notebooks that I named anything today that have the word opening statement in it, I can find them very quickly just by searching. So that's another powerful resource. You can search anything across any note that you've ever taken in OneNote in all of your OneNote notebooks. And you can search those for any word that you put in there and you can find a note very quickly this way. So anything you can see here that I have used the words opening statement in, 
I'm going to be able to find those notes here. Now, this is the one that I was working on earlier. If I want to go back, I can be in any notebook. So I'm going to go into my uh, criminal law firm notebook and search Carruthers. And it'll take me to that note uh, that I just made. So it's a very powerful resource. OK, and so that is the conclusion of this particular series. Now, uh, yesterday I talked to you about method one, which is just taking your paper notes. Those who like to still write their notes on a yellow notepad, a paper yellow notepad. So now you can take a quick snapshot of that image and upload it in the cloud so you'll never lose that note. Once you name it, you can search it anywhere in OneNote and find that note right away. Or you could use method two, which is to just write your notes right in OneNote. So I hope if you have any questions that you'll place your questions down in the comment section below and I'll answer them right away. And in the meantime, I hope you'll give me a big thumbs up and I hope that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I go live or whenever I post new videos. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you like to purchase a pre-made copy of Professor Blackmore's yellow pad notebook template, uh, OneNote yellow pad template, or Professor Blackmore's OneNote civil or criminal law firm notebooks, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com and have a great afternoon and evening and weekend. Bye-bye.